Bree Davis in Seattle, Washington. Uh, she yeah. wants to know. She wants to know if um, if if my mother. This is kind of long lines. What I had asked. If my mother yeah. didn't have much information for me when she was alive, should I be seeking her information now that she's passed? Oh, that's hysterical. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Not, not meaning to denigrate the the question, sure. but that's actually also a very good question. But here's the thing, when we are living, we are limited, right? The, the, the ego mind is a limited mind, right? So we, we have limitations of our five senses, and we believe that we live in the pod, or I call it in my first book, I call it the me bubble, right? So right. that we're me. <laughs> so, so your mother um, would be, in fact, of a much higher consciousness when she drops the body, and we hope that that's going to happen to all of us, because, and I definitely know that by, by doing medium work that there is, in fact, a, a tremendous, um, change of the consciousness of the person when they pass. So could you want to be seeking, like here's the deal, like why is it important for you to seek out this information from your mom, knowing I would believe that your mother loves you dearly, because that's all I've ever heard from them on the other side. Right. And they're all really worried that we're still screwed up because they died. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> you know, like, you know, is, could you not know that this information could be received by your own sense of consciousness? I'm not to say that not to go get a reading from a medium, but you know, what is it that you're really looking for, I guess, is the question you need to ask yourself. Why do I need to connect with my mom who's deceased? That's really, ask yourself what the purpose of that is, I think, now, first. Colette, mm -hmm. this, this coming from me, Steve in New York, yeah. um, <laughs> what, what, is there a need for that in the, in the sense that um, are, are you not aligned and connected directly with God? I mean, do you, do, is, is well, this... Is it easier to access the level, let's say, of, of, of my grandfather? Or, or can I just stay aligned and, and, and have that information within me? Um, to, right. you know, I, I think people are, are, build with the tool, are, are build with the tools they need to fulfill their purpose. Uh, right. and, and if you're well, aligned with that, is that okay? Or, or, do, or do you still, are these people in place to help you out along the way? Well, okay, so, so let, let's... let's... Let's let's first of all let's look at the the personal empowerment piece, right? So we're all we all need okay. So there are people who believe that you know that you get information from spirit guides all the time or whatever, you know. And I, sure. I I really think that yes, okay, fine, you can take that, but you have to take some some consideration for your own choices, right? That you know, like if the devil made me do it, I don't buy that, okay? So <laughs> sure. so the thing is is that you know, um, say for example, here's an example. I was in, just on tour recently, and I tour with Sylvia Brown as her opening speaker, and we, you know, I'm in front of three thousand people at a shot. I mean, she's got a very big audience, and she's been very gracious to to um, you know, allow me to be on tour with her. So, and much of my show will be, um, I call it the hybrid medium because I will name people and tell the details about people's um, deceased partners or kids or whatever, and they'll be very clear. But then I'm going to talk to them about the bad real estate deal that they're involved in, right? You know, like so. <laughs> so, but this, but for example, this one woman didn't get a chance to say goodbye to her husband, and I hope she's listening because it really was, it was worth the entire tour. This lady. I picked up um, the name of her husband, that he owned a trucking company, that he had passed, and that there was a letter G, like Greenland or something, and I got very clearly details, right? And I knew that she didn't say goodbye to him, and that that was haunting her. And, uh, and he came through clear as a bell in front of all the people, and this was in Dallas. And, you know, she, um, so I was able to relay the information I picked up from him, and, uh, you know, and she, and let me tell you what it did. It, 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 well, first of all, it freaked me out completely because it always does. I never jaded by this because I never know what's going to happen next. Like, oh, my God, is it going to come? Is it not? Like, am I, am I fired now? What? <laughs> so she, and she said to me it was the first time in years she didn't cry anymore. And so those kind of things, when we are open to a message from our loved ones, and, it is, and it's meant to be, because for, I really believe it's either meant to be or not, you know, uh, it, there can be an extraordinary healing from that, um, and that will then enable her to move on in her life. And, and my good friend, John Holland, who's a brilliant medium, and he's, he's definitely the real deal, I will say. I'm not kidding. The guy is unreal. You know, he's the same thing. He works with bereavement people, and, and it helps tremendously. So, you know, when people say, should, you know, when you go, is it good? I, why shouldn't you just be in alignment with God? But, you know, sometimes... This is this is the way we heal, you know. So it's so sure. yes and no to all those questions. Sure. Now, how do you how do you get it when you when you say that, that it comes through clear? I'm 
I'm picturing uh, Melinda in Ghost Whisperer, but <laughs> is, no, oh my is it God. something like a, a, a oh, kind of just Ugh. get it throw like in in your mind? Does it just come through as a as a, as if you're a radio tuner? I mean, well, how does first that work? of all, too, you know, on those TV shows, they only show the real negative, dark stuff, like as if people are moving around in the dark all the time, feeling that they <laughs> right. need to be released, which I think is a load of no, never mind. But anyhow, right. So, and that actually doesn't help us by the way, that the entertainment industry doesn't help by fostering the supernatural woo-woo stuff. But anyhow, right. that, that's all we need. But, but here's the thing. I experience it like a memory. So for me, what, my first book was called Remembering the Future, and that's how I experience all of my readings. I hear the name in my head like I know this. Like I knew, for example, this lady's dog. It was named Tallulah. It was a brown and white spotted dog, and it belonged to her mother, and her mother's dead, and so is the dog. Right? So I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... You know, and I see it like I know it, like I'm supposed to know it. So in, for me, I get it in my head, and I get it, and then I hear it inside my head. So, yeah, I don't hear or experience disembodied things, although I do see orbs in my house. <laughs> that's, that's another story. Never mind. <laughs> but uh, so it's, it's more of a cognitive experience for me. But everybody is different, and that's, uh, that's probably one of the issues, too, because there's nothing consistent for any of us that do this work. We are all unique in how we present information, what we know about ourselves. Um, I think it's really imperative that that all of us that do this work need to be in therapy at least for a few years to know who we are. Huh. I think that I'm hoping that at some point there'll be some kind of uh, um, uh, you know standard in which we could all meet and uh, you know be accredited and, and certified. That since obviously everybody comes to us, we should really have something. Some you know sort what I mean? Right. Mm -hmm. That makes Sorry, sense. I'm, I'm, I'm babbling we're, now. We're going to go some more feedback. Uh, Victoria mm -hmm. Willows, Ramstein Air Force Base, Germany. We're a huge fan uh, of Colette. Uh, we joined a book club and, uh, and read her first book. I'm oh. curious as to why uh, you, you can receive some spirits, but for instance, no one can find Natalie Holloway. Why is this? Ah, okay. That that is a really good question because um, I don't. I, I think sometimes we're not meant to know. Uh, you know, it, it, it is because I wonder, like, well, why? That's not my specialty either, is, and nor do I in, enjoy that kind of thing. So, um, you know, it is it is curious if, in fact, that it is. I mean, because I also believe in fate and destiny too. And a great book is uh, by Robert Ohado called Transforming Fate into Destiny. It's also a good one. Um, because I really believe that certain things are preordained in that, in that perhaps that there's so much attention on this um, that we aren't meant to connect to it. I, I mean, I don't know. It, it, is, it is kind of a, a head-scratcher, uh, because why don't we know? Like, why can't we see these things? When there are plenty of people, like, um, what's her name? Um, uh, who's a medium girl? What's her? I can't remember her name now. The girl from Medium. That's the real person. Uh, Arquette. Oh, not Arquette. No, that's the that's the actress. <laughs> that's the actress. Yeah. I, I, Dubois. I Alison know. Dubois. Alison Dubois is a perfect example of someone who has worked with the police, you know, um, and is now celebrated. So there are people who actually are specialists in that, and why they can't, I don't know. I mean, I, I think sometimes I look at that and go, well, maybe that's because we're not meant to know, and on a bigger scale, we're all meant to learn something from this, and we don't know what it is yet.